Hey, what's up? I'm Joey Brzezinski. And today I'm here at the Gardena Skate Park, South Park. Hey, Rip, can you help me? Oh, what up, Rip? Where do you want to skate first? Here we have a oddly shaped bump to bump. It's actually really steep. Definitely not to my liking. Yeah, I don't have much words for this thing. It just sucks. It's bigger the further you get out and then it's skinnier. It's kind of V-shaped like that. So if you really feel buffed, you could go way out there and try to gap the furthest point. Or if you're a little shy and you want to keep it small, you just, you know, do it right here. A little side, little side ollie. Whatever, it sucks. Ollie this thing or do something, man. Nine out of 10, how fun was it? Ooh, watch out for the rocks here. Uh, this is your typical flat bank. Um, they got a ton of them that are real out in Europe, but this one's kind of, you know, fake. Aluminum for coping at a skate park. Hey, Rip, you want to skate this thing? Oh! Rip, the fuck? So now we're here at this little obstacle. I don't know what it was or what they were trying to accomplish when they designed it, but it looks more like a UFO just smashing the side of the skate park. Rip, you got a trick on this? Man, this looks like you could really knock a tooth out. Look at that big crack too, right in the bottom. Good luck, Rip. And that's pretty good, dude. That's pretty gnarly. All right, so this is the mega ramp. Little jump up to Bob Burnquist platform over here. Dude, rip, I'm talking here. I'm trying to explain what this obstacle is all about. Basically, it's a Euro gap. You land up here to manual. They want messes with it. He kills it, so let's get it. He's avoiding the two wheel balancing act. Oh. Maybe he rips Danny Way. We don't know. Who is this guy? Definitely didn't whack that time, I like made sure of it. So the flat ground here has a pretty good grade. You know, you actually have traction. You can push, you get speed to the obstacle. Um, not gonna slip out of your trick as easy. It's very poppy, it's good concrete. They use real concrete, not whatever other concretes there is. <laughs> ah, definitely not like the streets. So this thing's actually really fun. Kind of like a little ledge, Manny, slide over the top of the Manny, or like ledge to Manny. Hey Rip, you wanna wanna do some doubles? Oh. Are you even trying that? No, nah, I wasn't even trying mine. The least, this is my least favorite. Which one? It's probably my least favorite obstacle here at this park. It's got a really steep bump, it's just super low ledge. I don't really skate this thing. I, I honestly don't like it. You like this thing? I popped you too high. It's like an awkward bump to, a, to like a knee high ledge. It'd be more fun on flat ground. Now we're here at the bench everyday average flat bench at the skate park with aluminum metal that doesn't slide. There's an aluminum rail down the street. You want to try to grind it, Rip? It's 32 stairs. Yeah. Hey, Rip. Oh. Yeah, Rip likes it. A little banked curb. The manual to a ledge up there that's slanted. Um, yeah, I don't know what they were thinking when they were trying to build the bank to curb. But it's pretty, pretty impossible to like 
hit that. It's really fun for manual tricks. I've had a good time on it. And then you kind of have like this like somewhat double-sided ledge transfer or just skate as a ledge on the outside. A few different ways to skate it. And the bank to ledge way is not the way to skate it. I've never tried to skate it like that. It kind of works. Whoa! I think it's the first person to skate it like that actually. Rip, do something. Freaking show off. Also a bubble. Into a brink. That's why you don't skate it like that. That was, yeah, right? Like this one? Let's, no? It's not this? Here we have it. The main event. Where you make it or break it. You could get sponsored by skating one of these in the streets. We're at a skate park. It's about truck high. You probably slap me this. That was cool. How do you feel about yourself after doing that? Not <laughs> too good, huh? Yeah. Ah, oh, it sucks. So now it's time to grade Gardena Park. It's a great place. First off, uh, let's talk about the features here. Basic bench, you got your basic little tiny handrail to learn your little handrail tricks on. On the bad side, there's no transition. So uh, if you're Salba or Christian Soy, you're not gonna come to this skate park and have a good time. You're just gonna drive right by. Maybe your uncle or someone lives on that street you're visiting, but you're not doing hand plants here, man. I don't think there's any coping. Cope with that. You know, break it down to a C minus for the features. It's basic. You're gonna go there, you're gonna have a great time. Overall experience and just vibe of the skate park, you know, you may see a local pro like, or day one song. I see him there quite often. You might see a pro lingering. It's probably a little better than the actual obstacles. So I'm gonna go with a, a B. I'll give the scene a B. Every skate park, there's flat ground. I mean, that's how you get around the damn thing. Um, and I'm gonna grade it because I get to grade it. And I think they overgraded it because a little slippery, too smooth, not asphalt, it's not the street, pretty darn perfect, so I give it a C. Let's talk about the amenities here. The amenities are bathroom. I think there might be a vending machine around the corner. Bring your basketball, there's a basketball court. So, let's we'll see. So here's the grade for Guardian Escape Park. Let's see how the next skate park does.